What did you get for the time? 0.59 seconds. <coughs> 0.59 seconds? Uh -huh. Good. And what do we do with that? Well, that's the same time for the horizontal. And now we have two variables here, so we can figure out the third. And what do we get for delta x? We get 18.26 meters. Right, or the way I rounded, I got 18.29, so somewhere around there. And that came out positive, which is what we would expect because we're moving in the positive direction. So what's the answer to the question? 18.29. Positive 18.29. Right. Since they just asked how far, they're not really asking for a vector, so you'd probably get full credit if you just said 18.29 meters, but the displacement is in our positive direction. All right. Well, this is a pretty typical type of uh, projectile motion problem. Um, again, the most common mistake here is not putting the right sign on the displacement. So put the right sign on everything. This was a little bit on the easy side because we didn't have to break anything into components. A little bit on the easy side uh, because we didn't have to break anything into components because we knew we were moving horizontally. Um, originally. Uh, but the, another big mistake people would make is they wouldn't realize that since we're <coughs> driving straight, the initial vertical velocity is zero. So you got to watch out for that hidden information in the problem. One last thing, notice that what we really cared about here was the horizontal motion. But that didn't mean we could ignore the vertical motion because the vertical motion gave us the time. So that's a very common pattern. Even if what you mainly care about is the horizontal, you probably still need to work out the vertical so you can figure out the time. And then you can move that over here. Uh, again, when, you, uh, when you're doing projectile motion, try to use this systematic approach. Write down this equation for the horizontal and these five equations for the vertical, and you know that you're already starting with the acceleration. And we've already been practicing how to break things into components. That's something else I want to emphasize. Start getting in the habit of thinking in terms of components. Don't think about the overall vector. Think about the x and y components. That really clarifies our thinking. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.